good in the web. I'm your man Q back again with some more of that geek news. And hasn't it been far too long since I or the rest of the world have not been talking about Super Smash Brothers? I got the bright idea that once again, since we're in the lack of a direct drought and since, well, it hasn't been any really big, big leaks or anything in, from word on the web. Papa Genos has said that Sabi is taking a break. My homeboy Shifty, he ain't hit my, you do, you do it up and said too much or nothing since the last thing about uh, Rio Hayabusa. Basically, I said, let me make a list myself. So we already know that there are 74 fighters right now, and at the end of the day, with the next incoming six, there's going to be 80 fighters. My thought is that Nintendo, well, um, they're going to milk this Super Smash Brothers as long as they can. And uh, that means we're going to probably have enough content, maybe up to 100 characters, for the rest of the generation, because Sakurai has already said that this is the ultimate edition, and he wants to get as much stuff out as he can but by no further ado the six characters that i feel should be in super smash brothers this is my list imo my opinion you can at me if you want it actually helps you know the growth of influence and everything else out but first player coming in in the red corner is going to be somebody i'm surprised nobody has been really 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 really, really talking about and that is Travis Touchdown from No More Heroes. Can you just imagine the schemes and all of the things that Travis will be able to do within Super Smash Brothers? A lot of things that Travis does reminds me of an old character that I was hoping Nintendo would have put in years ago, and that's Captain N, who uses the power glove, swords, zappers, and other different type of peripherals that, you know, are kind of like fit perfectly with Super Smash Brothers. The next character is, of course, in the blue corner, and I've been advocating, screaming, signing petitions, crying, begging, pleading for the last almost 20 years. Gino, 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 Gino. I'm tired of this sentiment that who wants Gino? Well, damn it, who wants the goddamn piranha plant? Like, seriously? Like, do we need 126 different Echo characters when we could have had an original character? Let me say, piranha plant? Oh, yeah, he's been in a few games before. He's in more games than Nintendo. That's not even the same damn piranha plant. There's a 226 piranha plants in Mario Brothers. 1 and 423 in Mario Brothers 3. I don't know the exact number, but my point is Gino's one character, and I can even see Rosalina birthing and bringing him in, because for those are game historians know that Gino was involved with a goddess or a god, which I would like to call it, you know, a goddess, and then that's the way you can insert him into the game. Some of his moves would be, well, the boost, the Gino boost, as well as the Gino blaster, the Gino flash. I mean, the dude has so many moves that would fit so perfectly into this game, and can't we just buy the rights, Nintendo, from Square? I'm pretty sure they'll give you the rights. I mean, Sakurai put, you know, the Gino costume in the last game um, for the Wii you so we don't have anything now plus we still have not deconfirmed the whole mallow hat thing even though it's kind of been deconfirmed with the doom slayer kind of dope yeah, hopefully, maybe. The next character is a long shot, and people always talk about it could never happen. But damn it, they said the same thing about Mega Man. They said the same thing about Pac Man. They said the same thing about, well, a host of other characters that we have. We wasn't even supposed to get bad from Bayonetta, but guess what? We did. And I'm talking about in the green corner, Master Chief. The amount of moves and the sets that he would have would be equivalent to what Solid Snake has brought into Super Smash Brothers, And I think that if any representative from Xbox would be that representative, it would not be Banjo. It would be Master Chief 117. Maybe, and I know I'm just speaking crazy talk here, Nintendo could actually ask Microsoft, you know, pay them a little money, 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 money. Help us out with our online, because it's ass bacon right now. It's really boo-boo butter. In the yellow corner, one of my favorite 
additions or a character that also said that could not be done but I still feel that it might be because Sakurai at this particular point can do what the hell Sakurai wants to do because well he's Sakurai and he's the game producer just like he dropping down posters of the Bay, Baylet and Violet the dude version and why couldn't he do this? Rex from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Yes, Q. Uh, geek. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's already a costume. So what? So what? He's already a costume. So Gino's already a spirit. So we already have 300 Fire Emblem characters and two regular, you know, Mario Brothers characters in Smash Brothers. So what? I can actually see Rex doing something amazing and being much like a Pokemon trainer type character where he would have Pyra, Mithra, and spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, and Nia who would all have these different elements from light, water, and fire and you're able to tap and trade each character and Nia can heal and use water attacks as well as Pyra can do like a, a you know attack boost as well as doing some fire attacks and Mithra could do some kind of reflect shit and then she can have like some big blast like this would be a great addition to Smash Brothers because it would take a it, it's one of the premier franchises for one and for two it would give you a variety of different characters and different uses that you would be able to use and that's the whole purpose of Smash Brothers in the first place and in the orange corner I mean do I really need to say who would be in the orange corner like legit 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 it would be Crash Bandicoot the move sets that Crash would have are equivalent to the move sets that Sonic would have, the equivalent which the move sets that Mario would have, which are equivalent to the ones that Pac-Man and Mega Man and all the other gaming icons would have. This would finally be the ultimate fighting game because we have each and every one of the main characters. Don't mention if Master Chief was on it. So that means we've got all from Microsoft, from Sega to Nintendo, all four that can go against each other. That would be Crazy Daisy, especially for the hmm, shout out to Daisy, especially for wow, this modern day, like Crash Bandicoot fits in this game, like ham does burger, like peanut butter does jelly, like a fat kid does cake with the ice cream. <laughs> Last but not least, shout out to the homegirl Shantae dropping it down for the sister soldier started. I told you, not only that, but an female character and on the purple team because well let me say this Nintendo thinks they're real real slick Sakurai and I'm gonna say it again I don't know what this misrepresentation is with women maybe they missed the movement I don't know why but can we really get like an actual female character without any other strings attached like any echo bs or like the clone type characters can we legit just get another female character and i feel that shantae would be that character they've also been doing a lot of things when it comes to the funko pops and different controller based stands and different stuff like they did with banjo right before banjo got dropped on the system now you know yeah, i know everybody's sitting here talking about well you know that can't happen with master chief and that can't happen with gino or travis and stuff we don't know what can really happen again sakurai does what sakurai wants and even though nintendo are is going to be picking these characters sakurai still has some of the say in it of course there's other characters i would love to see on here but these are the ones that i picked that i felt would make a big impact and that actually might have a chance to drop on the console. And I keep on saying the console, I mean on Smash. You know what I mean. But at the end of the day, I actually don't see these characters being the ones that are going to show up and show out on Smash Brothers. In all realism, I think that it's actually going to be, well... Gino still has a chance to get in. I still feel Shantae has a chance to get in and Crash. But the other three characters I think that will be coming in is going to be somebody like Ryo Hayabusa, as well as some type of form of Pokemon. I don't know who it'll be, but it's got to be some po Pokemon because they have not had one that represents Sword and Shield. And then last but not least, like the dude Steve maybe for minecraft or some other character within that type of realm like you know 
we want him, but we don't really care. Like, bro, bruh, bruh. Y'all ninjas is crazy. Why are you here? But as always in the web, this has been... I'm your man Q, your friendly neighborhood geek. If you did like this video and if you agree with anything I said, or if you have predictions of what might be the six, let me know in the comment section below. And if you did like this video, did I already say that? Make sure you hit that like button. I do new geekly content here on the YouTubes Monday through Friday. And I also stream on the Twitch box, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and sometimes Saturdays too. So come and check me out. All the links are in the description below. And as always in the web, remember to eat, geek, sleep, repeat. I'll holler at y'all until the next one. Peace. <laughs> and if you're still thirsty, <laughs> here's another video for you right here and right here. <sighs> Water's wet.